Well, hello, and welcome to the Healing Waters broadcast. I am your host, Marie Kennedy Groves, and I am so excited that you have joined me today for yet another broadcast. As you know, if you listen to this broadcast before, I don't like scripts. I like having conversations, real, valuable, real time, real time conversations. Ones that are relevant to what I'm going through right now in my life. Because I think that is what is most relevant is just to talk about real life experiences in real time. So if you have not joined me for a Healing Waters broadcast before, let me tell you just a little bit about me. I am a mom of two amazing, hard-headed, resilient, amazing. Did I say amazing <laughs> already? Um, you know what? They, they, I, I have two amazing kids. I really do. And I, they're young adults at this point and they are, you know, I, I, I always like to say I'm their cheerleader at this point in time, um, cheering them on. And when they uh, don't follow what they are supposed to do and they make bad choices, I am there to say, Hey, you know what? We all have been there and we all can choose a different way, but the choice is yours. So I'm in a, I'm a glam mom to a crazy, amazing five-year-old grandson that keeps me young and I have amazing conversations with him. His heart is sweet, brilliant, and I can't imagine our lives without him. I am also a life coach. I am an intention setter. I'm very intentional with everything that I do. I am a, I'm, I'm purpose driven. I say this all the time. I have purpose on my back. I wake up every morning knowing that I was placed here right now for such a time as this. And I'm a creator of life experiences. I love creating amazing life moments. I was just having a conversation today with a client friend of mine and he asked me, he said, how are you doing? And I said, I am doing fantastic. And he said, Marie, you're always doing fantastic. And I said, you know what? I am. Because I choose to create amazing life experiences at every turn of the road, no matter what is going on. I am also a mindset warrior. I believe that everything that happens in life starts in your mind, starts between your ears. And what you choose to focus on manifests. I have done broadcasts about that. You can go back and pull those up, but I am all about manifesting the right things. And that starts in your mind. And I do all of this, my beautiful friends, powered by God. So on that note today, I want to share a story with you. And I want to talk about who's in your ear. 
who you allow to be in your ear will either make you or break you. It will change your life experiences. It will change the your whole entire course of life. Okay, that is my dog, and he is having a moment. So, let me tell you something. I could stop this recording. I could say, oh. I can't have my dog barking in the background. Guess what? My dog is right here with me today in my studio office. It's real life, people. It is real life. And you got a real host <laughs> that's having a real life moment. So when I say that I don't like scripted, I am living that out for you right now. I don't like scripted. So we are not going to go back and start this over to try to eliminate the dog barking in the background because people, life happens. And we're talking today about who are you allowing in your ear when life happens? So, I'm going to tell you a personal story of something that happened to me this week. And I'm going to tell you about um, what happened in that, uh, in that moment. Um, and then we're going to talk around that a little bit. So, we're going to take a really short commercial break. And if you have not subscribed to Healing Waters, hit the subscribe button below so that you never miss an episode. And we will be right back. The best things in life are the people we love, the places we've been, and the memories we've made along the way. Don't let your pelvic health get in the way of your life the Pelvic Floor Store, your resource for personal health. And we are back. Okay, so as we talk today about who's in your ear, I wanted to share with you a personal story that happened to me this week. I have a couple of different uh, businesses that I am involved in, and it can it can be a lot. So I was having a moment this week where I just, you ever have those moments where you just, you're, you're, you're getting discouraged. Things are not happening as fast as what you would like them to happen. Let's just be honest. And while 99% of the time, I can normally overcome those negative thoughts in my head. I kind of let my negative thoughts get the best of me. And I was just really kind of discouraged with an aspect of my business. And I was I was trying to get a hold of key decision makers. I was having a hard time getting them on the phone. Um, they weren't answering emails. And I just had that, that couple of days where I was just like, am I in the right place? Am I, I mean, I, I just, I can't get, a, I can't, I can't seem to close this down. And a good friend of mine who is also my boyfriend, 
as I was having this discussion with him, he said to me, Marie, you are better than this. You're better than this. Why are you even considering giving up now? When you could literally be one phone call, one meeting away from closing these deals. And financially, they make big impacts, huge impacts. And I just was like, but I just, I just don't know if I can continue to beat these bushes. And he looked at me and said, I understand that you've left messages. They've not called you back. I understand you've emailed with no response. Pick up the phone and call again. Right now, pick up the phone and call again. And you know the crazy thing about that moment was I just, I was just like, you know what? I have nothing to lose. I am, I have nothing right now. I am picking up this daggum phone and I am making another phone call. And it just so happened that in a very small span of time, probably within an hour, key decision-making people picked up their phones I set meetings, I set appointments. I was able to go to two of those appointments this week that went extremely well. And you know, I, I just take a moment and I step back and I go, oh my gosh, like I'm right there at the brink of closing these deals. Yet there was that moment I was ready to walk away. Unfortunately, the majority of us quit right at the finish line. And that doesn't just go in business, in our personal lives, with our kids. I mean, so many things. So, when I ask you who's in your ear, where is your accountability partners? Do you have somebody in your life that is willing to call you out when you get a little screwed up in the head? When your mind goes in a direction and you're not able to catch it quick enough, to control those thoughts. Do you have someone that's going to call you out? Do you have someone that says, that's not who you are. You are better than this. That challenges you to try again. That challenges you not to quit. That challenges you to do it and do it scared. This week, he reminded me of who I was when I wasn't feeling who I was. You know, you hear a lot of people say, oh, they called me out of my name. That's not who I am. And while that is the other side of the spectrum, do you have somebody calling you back into who you are? when you forget who you are. It was a moment this week that I really had to stop and consider, wow, 
I'm so thankful that I have someone that is willing to call me out. I'm so glad I have someone that says, no, I think you're getting off track here. Pick up that phone. Do the right thing one more time. Do you have someone that helps you to get re-engaged when you get tired and stressed and you want to give up? That would be the easiest way to do it is just give up. Do you have someone that's pushing you to re-engage? Do you have someone who is pushing you to new levels that is challenging you to not stop here. You were created for more. And while we have to challenge ourselves, we're responsible for challenging ourselves, we're responsible for pulling ourselves out of the pit. It certainly is amazing when you have someone that will get down there in the, in the trenches with you and help dig you out. And say, oh, no, 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 no. This is not where the story is going to end. Now, I had a decision at that moment. I could be mad at him for pushing me and for not accepting my defeat that I was trying so hard to accept in my, in my spirit because I just was having that moment where I wanted to be defeated. Not really, but actually, because I was accepting defeat, that's kind of where I was at. I could have been mad at him for pushing me, but I chose not to be. I chose to hear him and say, you know what? I am better than this. I'm way better than this. And I will not give up. I will not allow this to be how the story ends. So my friends today, who are you allowing in your ear? Be selective because it can change your life. In times when you really, really need encouragement, accountability, when you need somebody to push you, make sure that you have people in your life that will do that and won't just tell you what you want to hear. Okay, so our time is up for today. If you would like to have further conversations with me on this subject or any other subjects, please reach out to me. Best rate, way to reach me is through email at mariegroves at healingwaters.net. I look forward to seeing you next week. Have a wonderful day wherever you are at in the world. And remember, my beautiful friends, we were born to thrive, not just survive. See you later. Bye.